In this video, we are going to cover how to integrate open source model with OpenAI Agent SDK. So there are different ways to configure any kind of model in OpenAI Agents. First is we can set the model at the global instance using this particular property. Second is where we can set the model at the specific agent instance. And third is where we can set up the model at the run instance and we can use this property for configuring the model. And we are going to use open source model offered by Olama and Grok. The only criteria is the open source models library should be compatible with OpenAI API. This particular platform should have support for chat completion endpoint as well. And we know Olama and Grok, they do have these kind of supports. So we can use any of the open source model offered by these particular platforms. So first we will try to set up open source model at the agent instance. Let's go to our Visual Studio now. Here I have created one file demo.py. So first we will try to integrate open source models offered by Olama. If you want to get it started with Olama, then first of all, you have to download this Olama in your system. Once it gets downloaded, then you can go to this model section and you can see all of the models which are offered by Olama and you can just download any of the models from here. So suppose if you have to look for DeepSeek R1, then once the Olama is installed in your system, you can just run this particular command. It will download the model on your local machine. Then we can utilize this particular model in any of our application so similarly we do have several models over here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to check like whatever open source models are available on my system offered by olama so for this i'm just going to use this particular command olama list and it will give me the list of the models what i have already pulled it out from olama in this particular demo i can use this llama 3.2 latest model so let me go back to my visual studio and first thing what we have to do is import certain packages so i'm going to import this async open ai now this async open ai is going to help us to create our client so i'm going to use this async open ai over here under this async open ai you could see there are several options when we are dealing with any open source model then we have to use this base url property and if there is a key which is offered by that particular framework then we have to utilize that as well we know if you are going to use olama it doesn't ask us to provide any kind of key so we can just pass the base url and we would be good but when we are going to use the grok plan platform then to access the models which are offered by Grok platform we have to pass key as well so first let's get started with Olama so first thing what we have to do is pass our base URL and we have to pass this particular base URL when we are going to deal with Olama and this is going to be our Olama client now our client has been set up as we discussed we do not have to pass any kind of key over here so i can now just go ahead and create our agent so i can just import agent from here and then i can just utilize it over here so i will pass the agent and as we have seen earlier when we are creating agent we just have to pass the name so this is going to be my python agent and then we have to pass instructions and i can just pass these instructions we have to set up our model so what i am going to do is use this model Model. and now because we want to set up this particular open source model over here so we have to use another property which is going to be open ai chat completions model this particular model supports the chat completion endpoint which is supported by all this open source framework so we can just go ahead and utilize this here we have to just pass open ai chat completion model under this particular model again you could see okay there are some options first is going to be model and second is going to be open ai underscore client so first property we are going to pass is is model so i can just pass the model name over here the second property is going to be open ai client and we have set up our client over here so i can just take and pass the client in this case now this would create our agent with this olama open source model i can just try to run this code and as we know to run this code we need to import another dependency which is going to be runner so i'm just going to use this runner run underscore sync and then our agent and let me just go ahead with the simple query our ultimate goal is to just to see this open source model in action rather than relying on the complex task so i'm just going to go ahead and print the final output i will just go ahead and try to run this code now now i've got this error over here it means there is a problem in my base url i just need to remove this and again save it and let's try to rerun this and because this is open source models, it may take like its own time to produce the output. So we probably need to wait for that output to be printed. 
and you could see we were able to get the output from this particular agent it has just written function to, to calculate sum of list and here is a program for that so our agent worked perfectly with this open source model and that's how you can set up open source model at the agent level so as we have seen in our diagram this was our option one other thing what we have to notice is whenever we are running this code though we are using the open source model if you have your OpenAI API key configured anywhere like in this case I have already configured in my environment variable then your traces also are going to be reflected on OpenAI platform so in this case as we have executed this code you could see it has just come up in this traces also even though we were using the open source model so you could see whatever question we have asked and what is the output we have got and why this is happening because I do have my OpenAI API key configured in the environment variable so even though we are not defining it directly in our code it is still able to fetch it out from the environment variable and once you have your OpenAI API key configured anywhere in your environment then it will capture the traces and put it on the OpenAI platform so if you want your traces not to go to OpenAI platform then you can also disable it and for that you can just use another property and you can just say like set tracing disabled and I can just set tracing disabled equal to true this would disable the traces so the last execution what we did it was captured on 11.33 so let me just go in and try to rerun this code now and we were able to get the output and in this case if I go to my traces and refresh it then you could see like it hasn't got captured it's still showing the 11.33 timestamp only this is actually you can disable the traces uh, being captured on OpenAI platform Form. with this being done we can go to our option number two so this is going to be our option two and we are going to set the model at the runner instance rather than putting it at the agent level now when we have to set up something at the runner instance we could see we have to pass our property in run config so let's see how we are going to do it so for that our client is still going to be same now I can just copy paste this and put it over here so that we will have our base code ready we still have to declare our client and from here we can just delete all this part because now we are not going to set up the model at the agent instance so we can just keep our agent like this and after that we can just go ahead and print this now we have to pass an additional property over here which is going to be this run config so I am just going to, to pass run underscore config and to use this we have to import another package and so that is going to be run config I will go to this run config and under this run config we have to pass our model provider so here we have to pass our model provider now the thing is how we are going to define our model provider so we have to write some custom code over here if you want to just check it out we can go to this model provider and we can look into this particular class under this particular class you can see how it retrieves the model it uses this particular method get model name so what I can do over here I can just take this particular method from here go to my main file and I can define my custom model provider and this is going to to use this model provider class which we have just seen so this is going to give us model provider I have just imported this model provider as well and now under this we can just go ahead and pass our method which is going to be this one now under this we can use the same code what we have been using earlier we are actually we were calling this openai chat completion endpoints i'm just going to take this and i'm just going to paste it over here now this should be able to guess our model and here you could see the output is going to be of model type so we have to import this as well from here i'm just going to import the model from here and now we have everything got set it up one more thing what we have to do because we have created a class so what i can do i can just take, create an object of it this is going to be a custom model provider now what i have to do is just pass this custom model provider over here so in this particular code we have configured the model at the run instance that's why you don't see any model over here at the agent instance let me just try to rerun the same code and we were able to get the output so this also works now actually let's go to our option three so in the third option we can set up our client at the global instance so in this case we can use the same client whatever we have been using earlier so i am just going to take this 
and then we can just paste it over here and now actually instead of setting up this client under openai chat completion endpoint we can use this particular property set default openai client and to use this particular property we have to import it from our agent package so here we do have this set default openai client and once you import this particular client then it is going to set up at the global level so in this case what would happen like you do not have to go ahead and set up this client using openai chat completion endpoint it would set up the client at the global instance and you do not have to to define it at any specific instance level so we can see how it is going to modify our existing code so in this case we were using this particular openai chat completion endpoint to set up our client over here now actually we do not have to use this and we can direct pass our open source model so which is going to be llama 3.2 we can just remove this and then we should be able to run this code and then we should be able to go ahead and run this code and as we can see we are getting this particular error and this error is coming because by default this openai agent sdk supports response api and whatever open source framework we are trying to leverage over here it all supports chat completion endpoint as of now so it's not able to execute this piece of code and we are getting this particular error so to fix this we have to force openai agent sdk to use the chat completion endpoint rather than using response api when we were using the openai chat completion model then it was forcing openai agent sdk to use this chat completion endpoint only but here we are not setting up our client using openai chat completion endpoint so by default it's using the response api so to fix this we have to import another property and this is going to be set default openai api and under this now we have to pass chat completions now again this set default openai api we have to import it so from agent only we can import this particular package and once we have this package we can go ahead and use it directly so let's rerun the code and this time i should be able to get a response and here is the response what we were getting earlier also so we have got a function written in python for the submission so till now we have explored how to integrate olama free work with openai agent sdk using all the several options now we can try to see how to do it with the framework where the api key is also available so let me take this option one code and we can modify it to use it for grok framework so let me just put it for option four where we will try to set up the model at agent distance using grok and if you want to do it for another options the steps are going to be same we just have to update base url and api key for the grok framework the grok key is something that you can get it from this grok cloud platform so here you can just click on api keys and you can you know get your key out of here and then you could see whatever the models are available over here some models are in the production state and some are in the preview state we can use any of the models in our code to do that what exactly we need to do so as i said like now because if we want to leverage the grok platform we have to pass the api key along with the base url so let me just pass the api key first and this api key it's going to get it from my environment variable so here you could see in my environment variable i do have my grok api key available so i can just pass this key directly over here so this is going to be grok grok api key so this would give me a key and now actually we have to pass a base url this base url is also going to be different from what what we have it in olama so for grok i'm just going to update this base url and now this is going to point to this this particular url the rest of the things are going to be same only thing what we have to modify over here is the model name and model name is something that we can take it from here i can take this 3.370 b versatile model i can just take this name and pass it over here and next i just need to print the output so i'm just going to take the same code what we have been leveraging earlier and i will just going to paste it over here now let me go ahead and try to run this code and considering we are using the grok framework though so the output should be very fast and you could see we have already got the output so these are the different option using which you can integrate any of the open source framework with openai agent sdk that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching